what I did. It's, it's unforgivable. It's all right. Enough of that, Robin. Save your energy for helping us track him down. No, I... You must leave me behind. He could use me again. I can't be trusted. This cursed blood in me must somehow give my father dominion over me. No. But he never had full control. You can fight it, Robin. And if he expects you to blindly obey, that might be the surprise we need. <clears throat> Krom, you, you put too much faith in me. Shall we then? Get back on that horse, Robin. You can't give up now. No. But you're not listening. I told you I'm not... Come on! The deed is done. But you could still try to undo the damage. It's not too late. I'm so sorry. All right. I'll... I'll try. Mother. Beg pardon. Might I have a word? Oh. Lucina, what is it? Yes. It's about father. I have memories of him, you know, from when I was little. Before he died. Oh. I see. Right. He was courageous and kind and everyone spoke fondly of him. People say he was brave right up until the very end. I always yearned to know him better, and now that I do, I can see that the world will be robbed of a very great man. I won't allow that to happen. <laughs> I understand. You love him, as do I. I'm so sorry. Mother, I... Please forgive me. <clears throat> Lucina? Stay where you are, Mother. I have no choice. I must kill you. <clears throat> what? What madness is this? In my future, you... You kill father. What? No, that's insane. Why would I kill Krom? I was not certain myself until now. I knew he had been killed by his closest friend. Having witnessed your bond with him, I doubted it could be so. But today's events make it clear. You are at Validar's mercy. I suspect if he's who forces you to take father's life, and very soon... No. Lucina, wait. I challenge my fate! If father is right, then we could change our fates. If this dark future is to be averted, sacrifices must be made. I'm sorry, Robin. I know this is matricide. I, n I know that. <clears throat> Lucina, you don't have to. Don't make it harder. It, it will be swift and painless. If you hold any love for... It's all a matter of who we want our Robin to be, an ally in battle, a best friend, a partner for life, but right now, the number one priority is to be a mother to our child. My 
life is yours. It always has been. Mother. T don't say that. Mother, don't. That only makes it harder. I would give my life for Krom and for you. Mother. Please. You're all right. I know you will be quick about it. I love you, Lucina. Why? M Mother. I'm ready. Do what you must. I... I... <sighs> oh, I can't do it! I love you too much! I'm sorry, Mother. I'm so sorry! Please forgive me! My poor girl. There's nothing to forgive. Are you done, Lucina? Father, I... I could explain. No need. You're not the only one who could eavesdrop. I heard every word. Lucina, I know your heart is in the right place. But I trust Robin. You cannot shake my faith in her. Robin and I have felt fast through good times and ill. We swore to be two halves of a greater whole. You underestimate the strength of those ties, the bonds we share. I believe in them more than some foretold destiny. Father. That is easier to say when you haven't seen it yourself. <laughs> Lucina, aren't our ties stronger here now than they were in your future? You said so yourself. In this flow of time, we are bound tighter than ever, you and I. Not just as father and daughter, but as friends. We could change things. We already have, and we will again. All right. Very well, father. I'm so sorry. Mother, I... I hope someday you will find it in your heart to forgive me. And I pray, that is, I trust the both of you will prove me wrong. That the future will crack and fall apart before our family bond ever does. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. I love this game. Its writing is absolutely phenomenal. I love the characters. I love the whole concept of the child units. Even if I don't uh, go out of my way to obtain all of them, and even though I don't know all of their stories, the whole concept of these children coming from the future to save their parents and uh, save the world and everything like that, it's all incredibly deep and the stuff that they had to go through on their own at such a young age, it's insane and like, I don't know, there's just no such thing as a happy war as someone put it and there's a lot of, a lot of things weighing on people's shoulders. And when comparing it to Fire Emblem Fates, I'm sorry, I just have to throw a few Fates shade right here because I have a lot of problems with that game, but one of the bigger problems was that they uh, also incorporate the child units being a thing whenever you have two units get married, but it's done in such a stupidly shoehorned way that has nothing to do with the plot whatsoever. It's just for the sake of having child units because that was a popular thing in Awakening has nothing to do with the story, it just gives them to you for the sake of having them. And while I like some of those characters, I don't like how it's handled at all. So, I don't know, it's possible that this will be the only Fire Emblem Let's Play on my channel because I don't think I could ever top this one. I haven't played any of the older games, so uh, maybe once I give those a fair shake, I might want to return to this series uh, through one of the older titles. but. Fates did not do it for me in the slightest. I have so many problems with that game compared to this one. Even though it's a lot more accessible to beginners, though, with all of its new features. But I think I've shown that uh, you'll be just fine with uh, the features in this game if you're a 
not a seasoned veteran to Fire Emblem. And then also with uh, Shadows of Valentia, I actually really enjoyed that game, but I don't know if I would hold it higher than Awakening. And not to mention the game is fully voice acted, which is awesome, but that would also just make it uh, very limiting in what I wanted this Let's Play to be about. And uh, the highlight for me has also just been voicing these characters and feeling the emotion that they're going through. So I would lose that if I played Shadows of Valentia. So, I don't know. This is our only adventure in the Fire Emblem universe. It's certainly going to be a memorable one. So, let's go ahead and continue on with our adventure. We got some, uh, one more communication session opened up. It is the final one for Robin and Seiri. Let's go. Oh. Hello, Seiri. Thank you again for that tea the other day. I was wondering if you'd care to share some more about your country's customs. No. Aye, my lady. Now, what could I do to... Now, what could I talk to you about today? Something esoteric, perhaps? Oh, I know. I could tell you about our art. For chosen artists, the most beautiful objects are of the old and broken. Huh? Truly? Right. Aye, and I again. Something in our eye prefers the patina of age. Tis but a different aesthetic. I've only ever thought of aesthetics to mean bright, beautiful things. Nay. Then I shall attempt to explain my people's point of view. Something that's odd and worn out it is infused with a certain beauty. A beauty of hard use, if it pleases you, of decay and poverty. <gasps> poverty? That's a bit difficult to wrap around my head. <sighs> it does require a new way of looking at things, but it can be done. In time, you'll appreciate the beauty of brown, the allure of rust, the smell of mold. Wow. I think I prefer my art to be colorful and clean. Nay. Hey, and to me, such things seem garish and dull, both at once. I must prefer the honest poverty of simple, understand the understated things. Oh. That's the second time you've used the word poverty. Right. The appreciation of poverty is an essential part of the culture. We often say that poverty teaches us what is truly important in life. Not statues or standing or possessions, but a loving heart and positive spirit. Oh. Mm, a lesson we should all appreciate. For people who become rich are so often spoiled by their wealth and luxury. They end up wanting more and more, but can never be satisfied. The chosen interest in age and decay is a reminder of that very point. It is a way to re remonstrate with ourselves and appreciate what we have already gotten. I see. What a wonderful way of looking at things. I suppose it explains a lot. I've always admired how poised and graceful you look when you fight. You seem centered, as if little things don't affect you. And now I understand why. You honor me, my lady. <laughs> it's true, though. I think you could all learn a lot from your country. <sighs> I'm pleased that you've come to think so. Truly, I hope one day you'll come to visit. Hey. I'd like that very much. So be it. Then we've one more reason to finish this war and restore peace to the world. <laughs> yes, we do. That was a really sweet ending. I kind, I'm kind of upset that uh, uh, Krom and Lucina didn't reach their A rank as well, because then I would be able to switch over to Robin and Lucina for the next battle. I tempted to do like one quick off-screen training trip just so I could get that to happen. Is it worth it? Huh. Thing is, we're just reaching the very near end of our adventure, so I feel like it might be. Hmm. You know what? I really want to see if I could get Robin and uh, Lucina maxed out before the end. I'd like to see Cherish and Longku maxed out and Olivia and Payne maxed out and then Robin and Lucina. That's going to be the most difficult though because... Not the Baraks. Uh, it's going to be the most difficult because they're only at a C rank. So I haven't paired them up at all otherwise. So it'll be tough. 
but I think I'm going to do it. So let's go ahead and fight someone real quick, I guess. Just a minor battle. Won't be doing uh, too much. In fact, I think I'll put only Krom and Lucina in the battle just so no one else gets experience. Very small amount of people. All probably really low level considering where we're standing. Yeah, level, well, level 30 is probably not all that low, but they're probably not going to be any challenge for us. So for that reason... I will go ahead and... Uh, where the fruit is Lucina? Uh, there she is. Okay. Couldn't find her. Uh, Robin. I'll pair you up with... Actually, I'll keep Robin here just in case they attack her. I'll just keep her next to them so she'll get heart connections with them as well. Uh, let's get to it, I guess. Cutting away. You don't need to see this. And there you go! Just after that one battle, I got the A-rank conversation for Karma and Lucina unlocked, and just because Robin was standing next to them, I unlocked the B one for uh, her and Lucina. Very, very easy to get these unlocked if I just uh, put in the extra effort. So, let's go ahead and make this episode a little bit longer, and uh, finish off these conversations. Now. I'm ready for today's training, Father. Listen. Before we begin, I have a question. What? No. It's something I've been meaning to ask for some time now. Once this war is over, will you be able to return to your own world? I don't know. Even if it were possible to cross the bounds of time again, my world itself may be lost. Naga said as much before we left. Good. I see. Yes. But don't worry, Father. Our peace is re Once peace is returned, I'll leave you to your life. What? Why? But don't you see? I understand that I, I don't belong in this time. I'll not, I'll not have myself become a burden. <sighs> Lucina, I never want to hear you say such a thing again. Huh? Father? Listen to me. I've told you before, you are no burden. You can never be a burden. No. But... <sighs> I'm fear I'm not only adept at putting these sorts of things into words, but it's clear that you need to hear something, so listen well. What? All right, I'm listening. Thank you. Lucina, I am so very grateful to you. Grateful that you were born, that you grew into such a fine and noble woman. Grateful you withstood terrible hardship and risked all that you knew to come here. I haven't the words to express how much it all means to me. None save thank you. Father. Mm. You're my daughter and my friend. You will always have a place at my side. <laughs> Father, I th think. Oh, Father! <laughs> Shh, it's all right, Lucina. There, there, it's all right now. Daddy's here for you. I'm not crying, you're crying! Okay, Robin Lucina, let's just go, right, okay. <laughs> Everyone in this town is so stylish. I wager we'll find you the perfect dress here. Oh. Er, yes, just so long as it's not too stylish. Frankly, dear, you have much more flamboyant taste in clothes than I do. No, wait. I favor the tasteful and under and understated, for example. What what about this one? G gracious, I don't think I've ever seen such a shimmery magenta. What? Hmm, I suppose it is a little bright. Well, what about this one? <laughs> oh my, that's very lacy. In fact, it's nothing but lace. Lucina, I could see right through it. Huh? Oh, all right. Well, how about this one then? Hmm. Well, it's a nice color, I grant you, but I'm not sure about the whole octopus motif. Well. Oh, I thought you liked octopi. This is not going well, is it? Why don't I come back another day and pick out something nice for you? Um. Well, I'm not sure if it's that good of an idea, but... All right, let's try it. Right. Wonderful. Then I shall not rest until I find you the perfect dress. Something that you will truly, truly adore. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm sure you... Hmm? Oh, look at this. Huh? Which one? The baby garment? Well... Oh, isn't it adorable? Look at the tiny little bow, too. Well, enough shopping for today. We should really be getting back to camp. Yes. Uh, am I gonna cry again when we get maxed out with that one? Okay, sure. 
Uh, okay. What are we doing now? Uh, check up the inventory, I guess. Uh, I could give Lucina the noble rapier now. Oh, she's up here now because I did some... Because I sent just the three of them into battles. No, it's all out of order, no! The OCD, it's, uh, real and stuff. Uh, let's give her the, uh, second noble rapier. And it says, Lords only, sharp and commanding. Uh, let's see, I guess I'll just check around real quick. Give me a second. Okay, I think everyone's in tip-top shape, uh, for the most part. Uh, we do have some Anna shops, so I guess I could just check them real quick. Uh, they have... Iron X. They have a Speedweed for sale? Take your time. I guess I should go ahead and buy that. Didn't know that they could sell those types of things, but that's really useful. Uh, I should also sell you my gold while I'm at it. And I never use these, like, one-time uh, stat increase items, so... I will get rid of them. Selling Tiki's Tears on the black market. I'm sure Anna would appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, that's good. And then up here we have... Uh, nothing I really want. So uh, I mentioned possibly changing Robin's class. It's not going to happen, but I might as well check. Uh, we could take... Whoa, we get... Oh yeah, Robin's the avatar, so we could make her literally anything. Huh. I could make her a dark mage so she could use Nosferatu. Oh, that sounds tempting. I wish they would show me just her base stats right then and there. Oh, but... Okay, Grandmaster, I guess it's... But she is a Grandmaster. Would it just, like, bring her back to level 1? Isn't she a Grandmaster? Yeah, she is. So what's the point in doing that? Make her a super duper grandmaster. Uh, she'd lose HP in the deal, actually. She'd lose a lot of stuff, actually, if I just made her a dark mage, so. Uh, I know she'd gain it back in time, and like the extra skills she would get would be useful, but. Uh, let's make her a general. No. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, anyone else that won't change? I'm also sort of decided that I'm not gonna change Anna's uh, class. I think I'm done with class changing for my adventure for the most part. Uh, yeah, I guess we're good. So uh, I should also, because I always forget to use them. Uh, let's use up all of these stat increase items that we got right here. Uh, give me a minute. Okay, now that's taken care of. It's time to start chapter 22. <laughs> all these strange travelers. What's happening here? Huh? Let's ask them. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir? <coughs> the appointed time to the dragon's table. Our prayers, Grima. Right, I'll just be backing away slowly then. My lord. Hmm? Frederick, have the scouts returned? Frederick. Ah. Yes, my lord, and with grim news. Validar has moved to a great altar to Grima, known as the Dragon's Table. What's more, it seems all the Grimrlil in Plesia are headed there as well. It's as if they're being drawn by some unseen force. What? Any idea what it all means? <laughs> Who could say, sire? They speak only gibberish and plod on as if possessed. <clears throat> a cataclysm in Lucina's future. This shows all the signs of leading to it. Gods! This destiny is a stubborn business. No. Oh, gods, no. We cannot give up. Are you ready? And we will not. We make for the dragon's table, and quickly, come, everyone. Select units. 
Su Wait, what? We can't have Sumia and Tiki. No. Why do you do this to me? I like them. Ugh. Life stinks. The only reason I'm not going to bring Tiki into battle is because it would allow me to save her Dragonstone Plus. So I could use it in later chapters. That is the only reason I'm allowing Tiki to not be in battle with us. God, that's annoying. But wait, let's check the map. Like, is there a... Who's the boss? It is Aversa. Huh. I was gonna say, depending on like who the boss was, Tiki might have something to say. I don't know if she would to her. If she does, I'll have it pop up on the screen like at some point in this video, but if not, then I guess we'll be okay with not having her. Oh, I hate not having the whole band here. I like these guys. Uh, I feel like Anna would be the smartest one to actually bench now that I think about it because she can't communicate with anyone hardly except for like Robin and Tiki. But like if I take Anna out and bring Tiki and then she can't communicate with anyone because I'm going to be pairing up. Uh, she can communicate with Seiri actually. Do I bench Anna? There's no treasure chests here. I guess that's a good point. Oh, we're also on desert. That's a that's a good idea to keep in mind. Who's crummy in the desert? A uh, rubble plain. Desert. It's only like right at the end. I remember that being right, like a really big pain in the butt before. Well, Sumia is good in the desert, so I should bring her in. Okay, so let's do a little switcheroo. We don't always have to bench Sumia. Let's do some things. Frederick is... Horse riders are terrible in the desert, right? But... Oh, Frederick, my boy! Can't have him benched. Then who else is he gonna... Who else is gonna say pick a god and pray? Ugh, I am the worst. I'm gonna bench Anna and... Um... I don't want to bench Tharja just uh, to play like an easy mode. No, um. Bench Anna gets Sumia. Bench Noe get Tiki. I guess. I could just switch to a regular Dragonstone if I, want, if I don't want to use it all up right now, so. I guess we're just switching it up a bit. View the map now. Just make sure everyone's sort of close together. Uh, Robin and Lucina are going to be pairing up. Cherish and... Uh, we'll put Cherish on the side just because she's the one who's going to be like getting rid of all these guys probably. Cherish is still with Long Ku. I'll pair him up with. Uh, Tiki I'm going to be pairing up with Sayuri. And... I guess the others. Sumia will put you up in the front. Krom's going to go with her probably. And the rest will just work out as I go. Let's do it. Really now. The Lilisians have finally caught up to us, my lord. Delay them, but carefully. We must reclaim Robin's power. Hmm. Oh yes, don't worry. I'll take extra care with Daddy's special little girl. Unless you kill us, in which case you aren't. Validar! Oh, fools, do you know where you've come? Return the Fire Emblem now, and we can end this. <laughs> you would end this? What? Yes, once and for all. <laughs> My dear boy, we already know how this story ends. You and I both. And yet you rush here. Are you so eager to meet the Fell Dragon yourself? Or perhaps your own fatal destiny, you would have that realized first. Ha 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 ha! Wrong! Forget about your destiny! I'll write a new ending! <laughs> How oh, so? If, so now you believe you could change fates? And here I thought you, your exalted sister had delusions of grandeur. What? 
we've done it already. Well. Your victory over sad little Grangle, or perhaps Walmart's defeat, those were meant to happen. They were preordained. You are just another fool in Motley, capering on the stage. But what about Emmerine? Why, yes. You changed only the method of her death. Either way, she was planted to the ground. Explain. But that was Grangle's will, not yours, not Validar's. <laughs> you aren't listening. All of this, every word and action, has been orchestrated. Grangle held the exalt in contempt, yes, so Validar and I used him in life and death. The king's demise through plesia and chaos, it drove the people to Grima. Now the life force of Rancer can be laid before the fell dragon en masse. You couldn't mean. Really now? It is called the table for a reason, you naive little man. It's where Grima feeds. The Grimleal have gladly offered themselves to him for ages. Even now, they pray for his return. Today the table overflows with bounty, and their prayers will be answered. I will never allow that to happen! <laughs> but it already has happened in our future. The moment was set a millennium ago. How could anyone give their life willingly to that thing? That monster! Think again. I will stop you. I will stop Grima! <laughs> Goodness, now you're starting to sound like Walmart, the big bully. He intended to destroy Grima as well, you know. Oh, thanks, incidentally, for taking him off the stage for us. Really? That's why you gave us your ships and treasures but no soldiers? Get rid of Walmart, but keep the faithful Plesians to set your god's table. Now then... Aversa, it is time. I must prepare. Why, yes. As you command, Master. Wait! Validar! Validar! <laughs> Don't bother. Master Validar is not to be disturbed. But fear not, I have brought the dead lords to keep you entertained. These twelve generals were great warriors in life, and even greater now in death. I would introduce them one by one, but well, as you'll see, they're not much for talk. Besides, you'll meet them all soon enough. Forty minutes of the recording, we're just starting the battle! Let's get started! Robin Lucina, pair you up. Longku and Cherish. Sari and Tiki. Krom? with Sumia uh Frederick with Alyssa not the other way around because uh she's gonna be the quicker one in this area I guess for the first stretch of land we could have Frederick and Frumble switch it up eventually uh Olivia with Payne and Tharja on her own Oh boy, what do we got over here? Any sort, or we got a bow user, so don't come over here with chairs, basically. We have sword users as well. Yeah, there's snipers on both ends. And the sniper means that, like, you could attack from. Well, I guess sniper is just generic bow dude. Uh, well, no, that's archer, isn't it? Or bow knight. I was just worried about how far their weapons could reach. So let's just get that first stretch of land right there. Switch to Krom for safety. And then for Cherish, we'll bring her over here, but then switch to Long Ku for safety. They're just going to go to town on everyone in here. Uh, Robin Lucina, you could go to town to everyone in this uh, little nook. I could always have Robin in support now because she's level 20, so she's not going to be getting any more experience. So I never have to really have her be in the front. So for that reason, I will keep Lucina right here. Uh, Tiki and uh, Seiri, you want to join them perhaps? Or maybe you're better suited over here with these guys. And then Payne and Olivia. Frederick and Lissa. Uh, how much more land do we have? 
uh, quite a bit actually before we reach desert, so we'll just bring him up here. And then finally Tharsha, follow from behind. It's getting close to the end here, folks. I don't really know what else I could say at this point. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, but thankfully you're going to heal yourself. Okay, we very much needed that. And any time you want to step in, Robin, that'd be just dandy. Let's see what we got. Let's see if these guys can handle them all on their own. I uh, just want to make sure that they didn't go after our flyers if they could reach from a crazy distance like those uh, ruined dudes were like. I don't even know if that was the name of the attack that they were using. Okay. Oh boy, so many stinking attackers. Thank you for dodging. Oh geez. Not that one though. Thank you for either. Heal yourself. Oh, uh, we were missing one of our healers in this battle, so we'll have to keep that in mind. God, she looks exactly like Mark from that angle. So to keep that in mind, and also, um, I could switch to Lissa next turn to heal her from afar if I can. Just have to uh, play it safe, I guess. Uh, I just wish they were not all distant attackers so we could counterattack them. Longku, we really gotta switch your sword around, but whatever. Something tells me it'll be just fine either way, or you can miss. That's not something I'm used to with you, but maybe it's the desert that's doing that. Uh, I will go ahead and get rid of... Uh, what? Oh god, Lucina. They have a 44% chance. Huh. Both of them attack from afar, but who is less likely of hitting me? Well, she already can't hit me. But I want to know, like... Uh... Oh boy. Huh. I really hope I don't regret this. God darn it. How far can Lissa heal from? Jason allies are allies within range. But how far is the range? There's no rush. I'm gonna switch to Lissa right now. Heal Lucina. Then Lucina. Tharja could actually step in. That's a good idea. Or Tiki. Tiki hasn't been getting any action lately. Let's go ahead and use her. Okay, that was probably the best decision. Oh, we're missing. That's... Uh, oh, thank you, Sayri. I forgot she had the stinking throwing sword. They backed each other up really well right there. Okay, she gets another another level up. And they get closer together. Oh, we got Vol Flame. I might want to give that to Tharja. She likes playing with fire. Uh, trade with Tiki. I'll give you Arc Fire for Vol Fire. For Vol Flame, excuse me. Uh, just for funsies, we'll equip that, I guess. Uh, but now Tiki's kind of vulnerable, so let's get rid of this archer just so they can't hurt her. Uh, hopefully we'll get a critical. Thank you! You do that, Lucina. Kick that guy's butt in one hit, yeah. Okay. Heh, his, we his weapon's called You Fell. I would say so. He certainly did fall. Okay, whatever. Uh, we actually got his weapon. A uh, very funny name, but we don't have any archers, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we can't step in and help them. I really wish we could. I'll just step up here for a distraction, possibly. Maybe they'll go for one of them. Uh, let's go for someone who attacks from a range, just so we could... Uh, get more one-on-one -on -one combat people. Uh, I'll go for this guy because it's more likely we'll be able to get rid of him. Thank you. Kill criticals with long coup. You can always count on that. Uh, who's left? Just Krom and uh, Sumia. We could go for treasure, I guess. Because I'm kind of just... 
uh, waiting. Oh, they're going for Tiki. God darn it. Only 45% chance, so possibly we're okay. Oh, Jesus. A lot of damage. Miss. Thank you. Okay. No, it was not too much. Don't worry about it, Tiki. Oh, my God. That was a really close one. I wouldn't want to lose her in this battle. Uh, going for Krom now. Uh, only 50% chance with the coin. We're good. They're all going for Krom. Jeez. What is Lanku? Chop liver. Jeez, that was a lot of stinking damage. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. If Krom dies, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's I didn't save it. All. It's a 15 minute recording. I haven't saved it at all. Well, that's unfortunate. I wish I could just restart the battle. Oy, give me a second. Back to the battle. Uh, we lost Cherish's whatever axe she was using, just a steel axe, I think. And now she's using the brave axe, and it's pretty good and kind of lame looking, though. But oh well. She's got to level up, though. That's very nice. And we're gonna like a lot of legendary weapons, it seems. Maybe these are weapons that belong to actual villains of previous Fire Emblem games. I'm not sure, but if they are, I'm sure this is a big ol' uh, trip down memory lane for some people. Uh, we'll run up here. And we're good. Just gonna wanna take it slow a little bit, because Krom's on his own now. Sumi unfortunately fell in battle. I uh, went in with the same team I had as last time, so nothing really changed. Um, wait here. Lissa, I want you to start healing people. Uh, use Mend on Cherish. Uh, we'll just like kind of line up, I guess. Enemy phase, they're still not budging. Uh, heal Lu eh, Lucina can heal herself. So Catharja, so I guess we're good to go. Oh, uh, let's see, we got a wind user, a wind mage of Swordmaster. Um a mage and axe user and a dark mage. Got one little sparkly over there. I would put Sumi in charge of that, but she's gone. Krom, I'm going to put you with Tharja, just because I know you'll be safe with her. Um, guess we'll bring you two up here. Uh, don't murder me too hard, okay? Tiki. Do I want Tiki in the front? I want Lissa to heal her real quick, though. Just to be safe. Then we'll bring you like right up here. I know that she could come flying down at, at any moment, which is what worries me the most. Cherish, I'll put you on treasure duty, I guess, because I always got to be greedy, even though it's uh, greed that got Krom killed last time. Uh, I guess I'll put you right here, and I'm going to switch your item to Nosferatu. Wait here. And Lucina, wait here. Let's see what we got. And they're coming forth. I've got your back. Thank you for actually getting our back. Hooray. Get that healing. And get that vengeance. Okay, she's fully healed. Well, besides one HP, but whatever. Kind of a weird duo, but whatever. I guess no one's really a weird deal. Like, I like just the range of personalities, so... And the fact that Krom is the one who recruited these people, so Krom had that personal connection with Tharja at the beginning, in which uh, made her interested in joining us, so... I guess they are connected in that way, I guess. Even though we all have kind of different uh, personalities and, like, somewhat different goals as well, we all have, like, the common goal of just wanting to save the world and do good, and we all have the respect for one another, so... I like our little group of friends, is what I'm trying to say. I just really attached to all of them. Uh, what next? 
you guys just keep on running, I guess. Uh, we'll have Lucina take care of... Oh, that's not good. We'll have Robin take care of... Okay, you can't take care of him. Man, that HP is too dangerously low. Uh, Alyssa, we're going to tag team. How about that? Uh, 41 or 44. I guess. Do I want Alyssa to do it or Frederick? I guess we'll switch and find out. Frederick is just going to straight up die. Good to know. Let's go. Did you say believe it? Uh, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Because Frederick is not Naruto. Frederick is way too cool to be Naruto. Okay. Like, I I know I'm super hard on Naruto. Because, like, you got to choose, like, your team of, like, what long running shonen are you going to watch? One Piece, Bleach, or Naruto. And, like, I'm team One Piece, obviously. So, I'm unfairly harsh on it. Even though I haven't actually seen it uh, fully. But, like, someone was showing me a uh, sinking footage of, like... Someone showed me an episode. They said this was by far the best fight in the entire show. And... It was just like a school fight where like uh, Rock Lee was fighting the Sand Dude and like Rock Lee was just bouncing around him and like the Sand Dude looked all shocked and stuff even though like he wasn't hurting him or attacking him. He was just like making the sand go poof and poof. Like he wasn't actually doing anything. I was like this is the most intense fight in all of Naruto seriously. But, like they were loving it. I was like have you seen One Piece? Like really? This is the best of the best for you? Uh, okay. Whatever. I wasn't going to be too hard on him, but it's just kind of funny, I guess. Uh, be some... Wow. That's a huge difference in power. Do I want to use it up right now? That was the question. Tiki. Oh, God. Uh, just like, I don't want the Amatsu to run out. Because uh, that's Yenfei's sword. I'd rather have it till the very end. And the Dragonstone Plus is great. But I don't want Tharja to just go on a murder spree and kill everyone on her own. Let's go for this. We're getting all these other legendary weapons, so hopefully they'll be able to replenish whatever's lost here. Yeah, you can, Olivia. There you go. And... Oh, that it was including the critical... I was hoping you would KO him if you did that. Oh no. Well, then I'll have to have Tharja come in or Krom come in and steal the kill. Just do that real quick because he could use the experience, I would imagine. Oh, he was using the rapier. Oh, jeez. Gonna want to switch that around. That might have actually been a bad idea because now he's out in the open and this guy's not gonna go down. Uh, let's go right here. Um, I'm gonna regret this. Let's see what we got. Come on. Oh, god darn it. Oh, geez. Oh, of course not. Enemy phase. Okay, they're going for Olivia. As long as it's not Kromp. 54% chance you have a possibility of surviving this. Or Vantage! Ansel! Olivia, you're the best! Oh, yes. That is perfect scenario. Do we get rid of all of them now? Uh, yeah. The only one left is Stinkin' Aversa. So don't avert your eyes. We're going to be finishing this up rather soon. Mended everyone's tattered clothes. They should feel as good as new. Over here is where you did it. Okay, you got 23 experience from it, so I'm okay with that. Uh, we'll bring Tiki right here. Lissa will heal. Just get that experience, Lissa. And a whole lot, but whatever. Come over here. Over here, switch around to Tharja though, because I don't want you getting murdered. Uh, switch to Lucina, because I want Robin getting murdered. She is a flyer, she could... Oh wait, no, she has very limited range, so I guess she doesn't move. Good to know. Okay, I'll bring her right there. 
Lissa heal Olivia. So I don't know who would have special dialogue for this though. I'm gonna assume possibly Tiki. Uh, I'll have Tiki weaken the enemy and then I'll have Krom be the one to finish them off. If we can do that. Let's see what we got. He <laughs> ain't looking for attention. What at a time, love. Very sinking powerful dark magic. Uh, well, we can't even reach them with Robin, so... Let's just go switch to Krom and finish this off. Listen. A final question, Witch, before you die. Oh. Then perhaps one final answer, boy, before you fail. <laughs> Who is Validar? Why do you follow him? Well. He is a father to me. What? But. You're Robin's sister? <laughs> no, you fool. Not literally. But he did raise me as if I were his own. Taught me everything. I was a poor, orphaned wretch with dirt for food. Yet Master Valdar took me in. He provided when others would have watched me starve. I would never presume that he loves me. But he is everything I love to know. I would gladly die at his command. Even knowing his actions will destroy the world? Hmm. But he is the world, and it is you that would destroy him. From where I stand, you are the only aggressor here. How Robin lives with the shame, attacking her own blood. <clears throat> Robin sees beyond herself, to the larger reality. One person's life means nothing in the shadow of millions. Mm -hmm. A sweet sentiment, and easily spoken when you bear no love for that one. But more difficult when the sacrifice was your exalted sister, wasn't it? I don't expect you to see the world through my eyes, Prince. But I won't pretend to understand how things look through yours. <laughs> then I suppose there is nothing more to say. <laughs> No, I suppose there isn't. Anything can change. Oh, you play rough, but the ritual has already begun. You are too late. Farewell, or perhaps we shall meet again. Oh, actually, I suppose not. <laughs> she escaped. Aversa wouldn't leave Validar before he was ready, even with her own wounds. His preparations must be complete. We have to stop him. My future is upon us. It's all right. We will, Lucina. I swear to you, we will. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening. We're going to put an end to Validar's plan. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.